Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to review the new release set of the Hot Wheels character cars for Jurassic World. We're also going to go over some Hot Wheels and we have the Matchbox full uh, Land Rover set um, and then a few uh, just uh, basic releases. So we'll jump right into the video. All right, we're gonna start with the Hot Wheels uh, Jurassic World character cars. So there's one to five of these. Um, quite nicely detailed packaging on these. You can see by the artwork there, um, as well as the vehicle. Um, very good representation of the uh, actual dinosaur. So these would be metal and plastic, uh, plastic tires, um, but real nice attention to detail in these. You see the little dinosaur logo on the front. Just nice attention there. These are a little bit larger than your Hot Wheels, but um, these are nicely detailed if you like the character car lineup. So these are release date, looks like 2017. So like I said, they're a recent release. Um, these are pretty much hitting um, everywhere um, that sells basically any sort of die cast um, within the last week or so. Number two in this set. Again, very nice artwork on the card. Um, that's what I like most of all, is the artwork on the card. I like to display them so you can see the artwork. Um, and the cars are pretty neat. Um, I'm more of a realistic car, but um, these ones are pretty neat. It's pretty cool to see the attention to detail. The little dinosaur logo there. Um, and just how um, close they can make it to the actual uh, character they're trying to do. So that's pretty cool. Again, just a basic vehicle. Um, um, there'd be a metal and plastic as well. A little blurb on the back there. These are basically all the same, so we don't need to show all the backs of them. But um, all right, number three is going to be a pretty cool-looking truck replica of the dinosaur. Very cool. It's got the it looks like horns on the top there. All green. Wheels are green, body's green, chassis is green. You fit a little bit in the back there. If you want to take them on the package and play with them. But uh, pretty neat little casting here. And again, the artwork on the card is pretty cool. And the backs are the same. Right, number four, probably my favorite here, just in the detailing wise. Packaging is pretty cool. Um, fills, you know, large majority of the card. But uh, the vehicle itself is pretty cool with the, um, you can see the large type of fin sort of on the back. But real nice attention to detail on these. And again, oh, be metal and plastic and the tires will be plastic on these are just like a basic line just a larger version all right number five of five of this set so neat packaging most of it's kind of covered by the car there but still pretty cool and then nicely detailed uh, paint the color variations they have here I don't think any of these feature removal parts or anything like that, but uh, or opening parts for that matter, but they all have that little dinosaur logo on them somewhere, but uh, pretty cool little uh, cast in here. Again, these are the um, character cars, and this is for the Jurassic World. These are released within the last uh, week, um, probably not even quite a week ago, these were hitting the stores. All right, we'll stick with the uh, Hot Wheel lineup right now. Um, these here are two packs, as you can see. These were found at Toys R Us. Um, I've never seen them in a two pack like this before, but it has their the nice 50th logo on the packaging. And then we get into some nice vehicles here. So you got the uh, Dodge Viper and a nice gold finish, gold rims as well. Cool graphics on there. But uh, you 
can't go wrong with the Dodge Viper. It's a very nice vehicle. It's got the big wing, black interior. And then we got the Honda CRX. Interesting combination with the vehicles here, but I like both of them, so that's why I picked them up. But uh, a good, good attention to detail. This one features white interior. Got the Honda logo on the back. Neat little graphics there, white wheels. These are again, uh, all metal body, plastic base typically. Um, but pretty cool little castings here. I don't know why they were doing um, this packaging because these are actually more expensive than individual. So I only picked up the ones because um, the vehicles that I liked in these packaging. So got a uh, Corvette, again in a uh, type of gold color there. Tan interior rims again a nice little muscle car you see it's got the Corvette on the bottom there but good attention to detail on these little castings and we got here um, not sure what that is exactly but it's gonna be a Dodge um, obviously it's got the Hemi logo there maybe a Cuda or something but uh, got the Hot Wheels logo on the back Hemi logo there. This one features tan interior on a typical green. Um, almost all the Dodge like to use that color back in the day. But uh, two pretty cool muscle cars. And then on the backs of these, they're basically the same. These are 2017 release. But um, like I say, I don't know really why they were doing the two packs because these were more expensive than buying them individually. You're paying about 50 cents more for these than just to get the cars on their own. Now that they're in um, two packs, these are probably exclusive. I don't know, I haven't looked it up or not, but these color variations might be exclusive to only these um, two packs that they're doing. So that, that could be where they're uh, coming up with a little bit of the extra cost, I guess. All right, I was able to find a few more from the Montpar set. Um, these ones I didn't have, I previewed the other ones in the other video. Um, this one's number five of eight. These feature really nice packaging as well. 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. So these are nicely detailed vehicles. Uh, you see it's got the Plymouth logo there, the Mopar on the door. Good attention to detail, chrome interior. Um, if you like Dodge, I mean this is probably a pretty desirable set. There's a few in these. Um, there's uh, eight cars. Um, the van and the truck, obviously, the most popular. Haven't been able to find those, but we'll come across those at some point and pick those up. 2017 release. And these these are in store within the last, uh, well, when I did my last video, um, that was the first time I saw them, so probably within the last uh, week or week and a half. So we got two of those. And then we were able to pick up as well number seven of eight. Again, really nice graphic work. This is the 70 Dodge Challenger RT. Very nice shiny red. Again, Mopar on the back. You got the, just a nice tension deal, a little vent there with the RT on it, the Dodge, the motor sticking out. Um, no opening parts on any of these, but just a basic release, so metal body, plastic base. But um, I like the artwork on the card, and the vehicle color is pretty cool on this one. Again, these are all the same full sets there if you're looking for them um, but these are hitting the um, the Toys R Us right now so you're gonna want to um, if you're looking for the set try hitting up um, those and hopefully you can get the uh, the van and the truck if that's the uh, ones you're looking for all right run down some basic release Hot Wheels here um, some of these um, aren't necessarily real new but um, I sometimes just get the ones I want right away um, and then I'll pick up some of the other stuff later so this one here is the Night Burners, um, 5 of 10, 15 Mercedes AMG GT. So, very cool in green. Uh, nice two door little sports car here, just nicely detailed. The paint on this is is awesome color. But uh, it's got, you know, Mercedes symbol, the lights, tail lights, just uh, good attention to detail. A little Mercedes symbol on the back as well. Again, these are uh, just a basic release, so metal body, plastic base, typically. 
There's some info on the back if you need it. And these are all recent release 2017. Pick two of those up. Typically pick two up because I like to open one and put them up, uh, open out of the package on my wall, and then I'll, I'll typically keep the other one um, just to have it as an extra. But um, hot, they do look better out of the package, but I mean, you can only display so much. Unfortunately, I don't have um, enough room to display everything. All right, next two um, from the Hot Wheels Exotics. So, six of ten. So, the Avendador. Very cool casting if you like exotic cars. I don't collect a ton of these, but I mean, for the price of them, I mean, you can't go wrong with having them in your collection. Very nice attention to detail on these. They all, all have lights front and back, gold rims, nice uh, paint job on this with the gold trim accent. Again, all metal, plastic body, plastic tires. But if you're looking for these, they are in the store. Up two of those, so we'll display one on our on the wall. All right, we have another one from the Hot Wheels Exotics, number two of ten. Nice little roaster here, convertible. Good attention to detail with the lighting. You can see the logos, the Hot Wheels symbol on the back there. But uh, overall, this one has a nice interior. So it's convertible. But nice paint job. Like I say, headlights. Some vehicles don't get it. A lot of this uh, higher and stuff like this will get uh, headlights, taillights typically, but pretty cool little casting there. Info in the back if anyone wants it. And then we have a, again, um, Hot Wheels Factory Fresh 2016 BMW M2. I don't mind these. These are pretty cool cars. Um, you can see here the attention to detail. You got the M2. The M5 on the back, or sorry, the M2 on the back. Um, the Hot Wheels symbol is the license plate. It's got tail lights. Just good attention to detail. Front headlights, BMW logo. Cool little casting. Some uh, information on the back if you're looking for that. All right, a couple more from the Hot Wheels Exotic. Seven of ten. The uh, Lotus. Pretty cool casting here. Quite enjoy this one. I definitely would pick these up if I can ever find them. Um, I didn't find these the first time around, or I would have got them, but uh, good attention to detail in the casting here. Some people probably either like or hate this car, but it's pretty cool. It goes you know, way back. But, um, some, you see it says Sport, I think, on the side there. Oh, no, sorry, that's the name of it on the side. But, uh, Pretty neat little casting again. Two of those display one on the wall. I'll keep one in the packaging, and then there's the information on the back if you're looking for anything there. All right, up next, we got from the Hot Wheels Daredevils the 70 Chevelle SS wagon. So, recolor in green. This has been out in red, blue, um, silver. There's lots of, lots of variations, but it's a pretty cool car. It's got pretty cool graphic work on it, so can't go wrong picking these up. Again, metal body, plastic base, and plastic tires. Um, like I said, these aren't uh, real new or anything, so we're gonna we're gonna spend a lot of time on these. But the, if the information's there, if anyone is looking for it, we uh, we have the recolor for the Hot Wheels Daredevils Fiat 500. Silver, it's been out in many colors as well. This one, it's got orange tinted windows, 500 across the door. You can see it's got some stuff down at the bottom. Just uh, good attention to detail. Neat little car, you can't go wrong with a Fiat, that's for sure. Number 205. And then anything you need on there. All right, Checkmate Series, Volkswagen Beetle, eight of nine. So I don't actually have this one in white. I do have um, a kind of, uh, I guess, a tuned version of it in, uh, in um, various colors, but I prefer it in this factory color. Like just a, no big blown motor or anything like that. Just, just how it would come from factory. 
It's got red tinted windows with obviously the checker logo on it for their Checkmate series. But uh, nice little white wall, kind of thin tires there, pretty cool. The headlights are the part of the um, base, but uh, it's pretty neat. This one here has actually um, always been uh, all metal, so metal body and metal base. Classic tires, but can't go wrong with a Beetle. Love the Volkswagens. And we got a couple more of these that aren't new either, but um, this one here, I, uh, for some reason, I, I thought I didn't have it. I'm not positive. I haven't checked yet, but Muscle Mania 18 Camaro SS. So, featured in blue with the red and black stripe down the center. Got the Hot Wheels logo on the uh, fender there. But if you like Camaros, not bad. Thing is, they recolor so many of these, so I mean, you get hundreds of just Camaros. But it's a muscle car, new style muscle car, lots of people like these, so. And then we got this one was already featured, I just picked it up as an extra. The Hot Wheels 50th Race Team. So 1 of 10. Bone Shaker. Pretty cool casting. It's got the 50th logo wheels. The uh, blue paint. Now this has been, I did feature it in a recolor as well. But for it being the 50 years, the card's all beat up. We'll probably uh, actually open this one up and put it on display. But uh, pretty cool little casting there. And then I was able, this was just sitting on the pegs. Number six of six, this is the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary black and gold. So this is the Ford Ranchero. Um, these have been out for a little bit now. We got the, uh, you know, the gold tinted windows, all the gold trim, gold rims with the blue gold and all in the flat black there. Kind of a neat little casting. These have been at the uh, dollar store, but um, they seem to go real fast. So six to the set, if you were able to find them. Um, and then there's a um, special edition Camaro that's not numbered, but it's a chase piece. So if you find that, then you're, you're good to go. 2017 release. These have been out for a while, but um, they just started hitting the stores here in Canada recently. All right, we're going to move on to some trucks. These aren't uh, new releases by any means, but HW Hot Trucks, 1978 Little Red Express Truck. I collect um, lots of variations when it comes to trucks, and I collect them in uh, way, way more than I probably should, but this one features the Firestone logo. You got the Red Express there on the side, Hot Wheels logo, and a nice kind of a baby blue paint with the accent stripes down the side there. Got the nice little smokestacks, nice chrome grill, Dodge logo on the hood. No opening parts or anything on this. Just a basic release, metal, plastic base, plastic tires. But not a huge fan of this truck for se, but I uh, collect, like I say, anything to do with trucks. So it's right up that alley. So 2015 release. And then this one, if you guys haven't seen it, Hot Wheels Hot Trucks again. Chevy Silverado, 10 of 10. Souped up version, so it's kind of slammed to the ground, which I like. All black, blue stripe, blue rims. It's got a gray interior. You can see it's detailed interior as well, which is nice. Stripe down there. Pretty cool little casting. Nice attention to detail and a pretty cool souped up truck. Any of you that like the lowrider trucks, Hot Wheels makes quite a few in this one in different color variations. And a few in the uh, Chevy in the 70s era. But 2015 release as well. Uh, just found those on the, on the pegs when I was out. Uh, the dollar store had some older cases they're trying to get rid of. So, All right, a couple fun ones before we move on to the Matchbox. So this one here is the Batman the Animated Series. Three of five. So pretty cool if you collect all the Batmobile stuff. It's an interesting one. I personally like the, the uh, classic TV version, but for the price of it, why not just have it to have in, in the collection? So I may have featured this in a previous video, but I collect a lot of duplicates uh, for one. My daughter pretty much collects everything I do, so I pretty much have to buy two of everything. But um, 
anything on the back you want, as well as the licensing 2017. So this is a new case for these. And then these are already previous, so we'll just do them real quick. But um, the kids wanted these, so I just picked them up for them. I uh, don't really need a bunch of these because they're only good for the, uh, I believe the one, only the one camera works in it. So, and they don't really work. They work okay down the track, but uh, maybe we'll do a video at some point on them. But zoom in, pretty popular little casting, just something neat uh, the kids can collect or hold on to or do whatever they want with them. But again, new release. I think they've actually got this out in a, I think in a recolor, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we'll move on to some Matchbox. So... Haven't been able to find too much in the new release stuff with Matchbox, really. Um, this is one, but I haven't, uh, it's taken forever for them to get Matchbox in here in Canada anyway, at Walmart, Toys R Us, or any of them. So the Lamborghini LM002. Pretty cool little casting here. Jacked up off-road vehicle, but pretty cool. Um, I did see a video of this um, similar vehicle. And a one to one CL, so that was pretty cool. It's done in like a flat red paint, but good attention to detail. Headlights, tail lights, license plate, you got your spare tire there. Again, metal body, plastic base. Um, and these run you only in the uh, dollar range for these cars, so you, you can't go wrong. They have lots of licensed models, Matchbox. I don't collect all of them, they have a lot of non licensed, but they have quite a few of licensed models. So, again, 2016. I haven't been able to find this one, so. And then this one I have, but like I said in previous videos, anything Volkswagen related, I'm going to pick up duplicates. I don't care. Volkswagen transporter cab. Pretty cool. Seen one of these in a one to one scale as well. It's got the Matchbox World there. What's it got on it? Gary's Bike Tours. But uh, pretty cool little casting. You don't see many um, of these trucks third uh, with the third door on it. Um, you got the, the tools in the back there. That's just a neat little casting if you like Volkswagen stuff. Um, they have this one in a green version as well that was a newer release. This is an older release, but um, they did release it in a green version. You get them in the small little boxes. So 2016. Anything you want to pause on there? But uh, those two were pretty, pretty cool to find in stores. All right, up next we have the Matchbox. This is the Land Rover six car set. So this again isn't a new release at all. I've just passed over it many times, and I finally decided I'd pick it up. I like a few of the vehicles, but I gotta obviously get the whole set. I hate having partial sets if I can. But they feature nice artwork on the card on these. And then obviously, of course, nice vehicles. So, um, Land Rover Defender 110 is this one. Got headlights, headlights in a, I don't know what type of green that is, but uh, pretty cool. You can see all the luggage stuff on the, uh, the roof there and the mold. Spare tire on the back, you have the little ladder to climb up on. So these are an all metal body, plastic base and plastic tires, just like the other ones. These packaging are a little bit more expensive though, so you're gonna pay a little bit more for them. But you can see here, um, all the cars there, we have them here to go over. And then you can see 2016 release. These have been out for quite a while, but um, like I say, they're a bit more money and I wasn't sure if I really wanted to collect the full set or not. Next, Land Rover Discovery. So this is a police vehicle here. Good attention to detail. Um, these are all kind of similar in the way of the Cassie, more or less. Got blue rims on this one though, and the police logo, which is cool. Two sunroofs. <clears throat> Again, all metal, plastic, uh, plastic base, plastic tires. And then uh, the backs of these are all the same. Right, up next, we got the Land Rover Freelander. So, interesting uh, looking kind of SUV thing here. The Matchbox logo on there, done in a nice blue. The back is open, you can see the seats sticking out there. But, and they all pretty much have the spare tire, I think. 
Good attention to detail, lights, front and back, you got turn signals, door handles, everything. Sunroof, detailed interior as well. Land Rover 90. So this one is Payne and Sons Construction. Oh, it's got a big push bar on the front on this one. Done in a nice red. Pretty cool vehicle here. Very similar to the other one, um, the raised roof, but um, more of a square looking uh, this one here. It's kind of a, a similar, but it's only a two door instead of a four door. But uh, they have interesting packaging on these. They're all the same, unfortunately. But all right, Range Rover. This one here you see out quite a bit on the roads and whatnot. Pretty popular selling just for a family vehicle. Done in black and kind of a brown, dark brown. But a little vehicle here. So he's got the Range Rover on the back. Detailed taillights. Again, metal body, plastic plate, uh, base and tires. Good attention to detail, you see all the plastic skid plates that they did just to replicate the off-road capabilities. And the last one in this set, probably my favorite one, Land Rover SVX. Pretty cool little off-road vehicle here. I like the styling and uh, whatnot on this one, it kind of resembles, almost looks like a Ford Bronco sort of, which I, I quite like those castings. So. You got the headlights, taillights, signals, a nice kind of a dark green finish. The rims match. Uh, you got the SVX for the license plate. You got the skid plates, the spare tire. Just uh, good attention to detail in the interior since it's all apart. You can see that it's a uh, right hand drive. So that tells you where these. We're going to be sold to. And metal body plastic base. Big tires on these though for plastic tires, that's for sure. And like I say, again, that's that's all in the set. 2016 release. Um, if you like Land Rover or you like off-road vehicles, it's kind of a neat little set. Um, they are going to cost you a bit more though. You're probably going to pay double the price uh, for these um, as opposed to a standard Matchbox or Hot Wheel. Last item I have here is going to be Hot Wheels, The Dark Knight. So this is the Dark Knight Batmobile. These are pretty cool. These are their larger, a little bit larger scale, but they feature um, rubber tires in these uh, lineup. And just really good attention to detail. So like I said, I personally like the, uh, the, you know, the original, the classic Batmobile, but um, one Toys R Us I had was that was clearing these out so these are like I think 11 bucks and they had them for just under five so I picked this one up um, you can see all the ones they have in here um, they have a lot more than that too I've uh, featured I think a couple on the on the channel already or if I haven't I will be doing um, all of those I have uh, quite a few 2015 release you can see they're older but they weren't selling I guess so that's probably why they drop the price to them but if you're looking for these um, you can maybe check out your Toys R Us and see if they're all clearing them out uh, like I say I'm in Canada so um, see what you can get I know there's probably not too much uh, in the way of Toys R Us anymore in the States unfortunately with that all happening but um, I haven't seen these in Walmart here in Canada anyway I don't know if they're available in the States but you guys in the States have a lot more hobby stores and stuff which would probably carry these items all right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, this is basically just everything to do with Hot Wheels that I found and then I threw in a few Matchbox there. Um, I have a few more videos to do. I got a bunch of green light. Um, I got some M2 stuff. I got some uh, gas pumps if any of the viewers out there are interested in gas pumps. I got a few of those um, and just some older um, vehicles as well. The uh, older stuff is gonna be uh, basically Yatming. 
So if anybody out there is familiar with Yatming, I got a few of that, a uh, few vehicles uh, to go over some older stuff. Actually not licensed as Yatming, but they are uh, direct replicas and I can uh, just show you that because I have some original Yatming stuff. So lots to look forward to. Um, I'll get on those videos hopefully later today. If not, in the next uh, day or so, we'll get uh, we'll get those up for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumb thumbs up. Bye.